A ton of credit to Seton Hall. Um, we got up 10 early in the game there, and I thought, you know, their response um, was as, as, as big of a stretch as, as really any stretch in the game. Um, they cut the lead down quickly and then took the lead quickly. Um, I think, you know, what you're seeing with, with, with Shaheen's team is um, he's got a group of guys with, with toughness and grit and uh, poise that now aligns with, with his. And when you have that and you got an older team, uh, you got a chance to do really special things. And, um, you know, take my hat off to Shaheen. He's, he's a terrific coach. Um, from our end, it, it was a bizarre game from the standpoint of we, we had some phenomenal, I mean, textbook defensive possessions where we're flying around, playing the way we wanted to play, getting our hands on the basketball, helping each other. Uh, five guys connected as one. Then we had some other ones where we, it's not surprising that we gave up baskets. Um, not in a stance, not talking enough. Uh, putting two guys on the ball when, when we're not supposed to do that, not rotating effectively, not putting our chest on the driver. Um, and if you don't do that, then guys like Kadari Richmond are going to make you pay. He's too good of a player. Uh, so we have a lot of things that we have to get better at from this game. Um, losing games exposes you know, your issues um, that you know, sometimes can be under the surface. Um, but we're not entitled to winning. You know, I keep telling our guys that. Shaka, what do you think the teams have said the strength of them the last three road games? Mm, I think, first of all, it's hard to win on the road. Uh, and, and teams are going to be very, very motivated uh, on their end to win the game. And I think we've run into that uh, in those games. Uh, but we try to focus on ourselves because we don't really control the other team. So. You know, we, we spent some time as a group talking about resetting our road mindset coming into today. I thought uh, in some ways our guys carried that over and in other ways we didn't. The start of the game was, you know, to some extent fool's gold for us because um, we were scoring, but Seton Hall was scoring, you know, for a while there. Then we were able to to take the 10 point lead, but we were not consistently in a stance uh, defending with the type of desperation that you have to defend with on the road. And so I would say it starts there. Uh, right now, Ben, I talked about, you know, Shaw's players being equivalent to him. We don't have uh, everyone on our team on an uh, on a equal uh, level with Oso Iguodaro and his passion for winning. And that starts in practice. And uh, that, that has to improve. Uh, and I'm excited about us working on it. Shaka, I think there's kind of a perception that Seton Hall somehow overachieved you know, relative to the level of recruits they get and the NIL capabilities. Um, do you buy that? Yeah, I don't really know much about NIL opportunities uh, at Seton Hall or anywhere else. Um, I mean, recruiting. Kadari Richmond's more heavily recruited than anyone on our team. I mean, name one guy on our team that we tried to recruit Kadari Richmond when I was at Texas. Um, he's a good player. And then they've got I don't know what the nature of recruiting was, but you know, Dre Davis went to Louisville. He was highly recruited. Um, and you look at their group, again, they're older. Um, they have guys that have had success. And they're committed to each other. They're committed to playing their roles. So I, I, don't, I think overachieving is, is a kind of a, a non-thing. You know, to me, there's your potential and how good you can be. And if you can reach that ceiling, then you're achieving. Um, and 
you know, Shaw's doing a great job getting those guys, you know, playing connected and playing well together. How, uh, how good is Richmond this year relative to what it was in the past? Richmond's a bear. I mean, he's always been a bear, but now he's a fourth year player. Um, he's just very, very unique the way that he moves. I, I don't think I can name a player in college basketball that's exactly like him. With the combination of his size, the way he moves and, and slithers around out there, um, his poise. Um, you know you know he's not going to shoot a lot from outside, but he gets to the paint anyway. Um, in their last game against Providence, uh, Providence you know, decide to kind of back off him and, and go under screens. Um, you know, we were pretty aggressive out there guarding him. Um, he had his way in both games. And, you know, we've played against him for a while. I think this is our fifth, fifth time playing against him. Um, he's clearly getting better. Because he's a pro? Is he an NBA player? He might be. I mean, he's got great size. They love size. Um, I think he's a guy that right now, if you watch their games, he makes his teammates better in multiple ways, whether it's passing, his defensive disruptiveness. Um, and right now, it's interesting because he, he's not a great outside shooter, but he has a lot of gravity. Like he, people, He's pulling defenders to him. And I thought that got them going at times because we got in rotation in the first half. And then you got a guy like, like Ade Wusu in a closeout, pretty darn good. Do you have an update on Chase's shoulder? Uh, I believe he separated his shoulder and then it kind of went back into place. Um, but I haven't talked to the trainer or the doctor yet. It, uh, they just told me he was out for the game. Um, he was in a lot of pain, um, but they were already in there like at halftime and after the game doing treatment. Uh, so we'll just have to figure out how long he's out. It was, you know, just an unfortunate play. And uh, he's one of our toughest guys. Uh, so for him to only play in a minute and a half certainly hurt us. But at the same time, you know, you go on the road, you, you, you can't make any excuses. You have to step forward as a group and do what it takes. And I, listen, we're, we lost a game, um, and there's so many plays that we'll look at on both ends of the floor that we'd like to have back. Um, but our guys also showed a lot of fight. Um, we make a few of those plays different. We're able to stop Dre Davis on that last basket. Um, now all of a sudden, we're down one with the chance to, to go score. That last play on the side, uh, it was just a, we were not able to, to go do what we wanted to do because of physicality out there. And uh, that is what it is. The way you get out of a shooting slump is you, you focus on everything else. You focus on defense, you focus on your teammates, you focus on getting lost in the fight. And then you jump up and shoot the ball like you know how. He made that three late because we were losing and he was just playing. He was lost in the fight. He jumped up and shot it. Um, you know, I, I'm a firm believer. Anytime a guy is even half a second out of the present for whatever reason, there's a million reasons it can be half a second in the past, half a second in the future, or more you ain't going to shoot well, and you're not going to play your best. Um, and so I got to do a better job helping him with that because he's a wonderful player. But you're right, he's, he's not uh, playing as well as he can. And, he, and, and, and when he doesn't, um, that's a huge domino on our team. I mean, they play with physicality. They were aggressive. I thought he did get in the paint a lot. Um, he had some really good passes. Um, you know, they just played with good physicality. Um, Tyler's a really good player. He's, he's better than he played today. We believe in him. You know, we're going to continue to put the ball in his hands as long as he's got a Marquette uniform on. Um, 
but I, I think hopefully a lesson in this for Tyler and everyone else on our team is that all the things we want to do are connected to each other. So you're pinpointing a specific area, scoring or, or offense, that's connected to everything. That's connected to who we are culturally, the way we defend, the stance we play in. And today was a reminder of that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.